People are a mess. This is why we can't have nice things. Take a look at this. Somebody tagged up the new Christopher Columbus statue at the Mercer County Italian American Heritage Club. They spray painted the explorer's face black and signed it with the number 13. Gazzard. Yeah. Yeah, you're pissed off. Yeah, no, I get it. You know, you're pissed off. You don't want to, you want why? Why can't I be here? Why wouldn't I be here when the guy did it? Yeah. You know what I mean? You could have did it. Oh, I'm telling I'm telling you here as good as gold. I didn't do it, John, and I wouldn't do it. So the statue's only up since October, uh, says John, who adds that it took the club a couple of years to raise the $18,000 that it cost. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Back this whole thing up. Before I go and talk to John about all of this nastiness, the better thing to do would be to get a sandwich from Chiarello's, at least sit down over a little food and talk about this like a couple of gentlemen. I mean, come on. Where's my manners? While the guys made me up a half Italian, I talked to Mrs. Chiarello. She's born and raised in Chambersburg, Trenton. Uh, she says, ah, disgrazia. A lack of respect for everything. So I love them They have no one. They have no respect for anything today. And without respect, you've lost everything. The sandwich is going to be on, on us today. Right? I didn't come in here for a hand that's, that's, that's not what we're doing. John and for Not for anything, but you should have told me. I would have combed my hair, put some makeup on. I don't see how you can look any better. Oh, to be well, thank with you. you, but anyway. You know. So, sandwich in hand. Best in town. I headed back to the Italian American Club to see uh, what could be salvaged. Because of cement, we're going to try to remove it first. If it can't be removed, we're going to have to make some kind of a mixture that can be painted on to look like concrete. Who did it is the question. Hamilton police say they're working on it, but despite the blackface, uh, they can't say for sure that the vandalism is racially motivated. Also, what about the 13? Uh, it could it be a faction of the MS-13 gang that's said to uh, be active in Trenton? It's hard to say, but a lot of mysteries and no one in custody. And the thing is, a, bl a white face that is painted black is inherently <laughs> incendiary. And when you talk about the history of New Jersey, we're called the Garden State, Guess who made it the Garden State? You're talking about colonists, you're talking about people, you're talking about slaves who made New Jersey the Garden State that it is, but they're not acknowledged. So there's a lot of history when it comes to New Fair Jersey. Fair enough, and that's, I guess I, I could agree with some of that, but that doesn't get us any closer to who actually did it or why. Well, that's the um, police's investigation, well, and, and, so where are they on that? Well, they don't have a suspect, and they haven't arrested anyone, and they're not sure uh, of the motivations. Essentially, are they, they taking it seriously? Of course they're taking it seriously, but they don't, have a, they don't have an answer for it yet. What I would say about this is that uh, one person's political statement may be another person's art, but at the end of the day, if you're spray painting someone's statue uh, with blackface, though you may call it a political statement, it's still a crime. That's common, cheap vandalism. It was done in front of an Italian-American place, so what are they going to do right now? Well, they called the police. I mean, they're civilians. They're letting the police do their jobs. They're not going to take to the street in a mob. They don't know who did it.